Hi guys, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Fernando Gago, plays for Boca Juniors in the Premier Division, he's 5 foot 11 tall, right footed, he's got medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Look at his in games, his stand ups are 85 short pass, 83 long pass, 82 shot power, 82 vision and 81 interceptions. We've also included all the upgrades from his non-inform just as a comparison so you can see each individual stat increase of each individual stat. So you can always pause the video if you want a close look at any of his stats now on screen. So this is the team we were using inform Gago in, uh, a gold and silver 4-1-2-1-2 Argentinian side with inform Gago at CDM. We've also included inform Vasquez at CAM as well. Now as you can see we were trying Minform Gago as a CDM to see how we go. Now just a little quick negative before we get going, if you're thinking of using him as a CDM, he does have poor jumping and poor heading. Just something you may want to think about when you're picking a position for him, so he didn't really get up to meet the, uh, the goal kicks, nothing amazing in his heading. But I've got to say, other than that, he did do a pretty fine job as a defensive midfielder. He did have good interceptions and tackling and he was putting himself about in centre defence in midfield. He was intercepting a lot of balls, doing a lot of decent tackles, breaking up play in the middle and what you want your CDM to do. But then as well, when he does get possession, he has got a great passing game as well. He's got 85 short and 83 long and he also has 82 vision as well. So it does make him a great deep line playmaker and he did actually create a lot of chances for our uh, gold and silver Argentinian team, even from a CDM position. So great passing wise and did crop up with a fair few assists as well. Uh, but surprisingly for me with Inform Gago, he did get in amongst the goals as well and he does have an actual really good shot as well, has decent shot power and a decent long shot and he did take advantage of a lot of his chances in the games we were playing. So he did bang in a couple of goals, so he is a threat around the edge of the box. Finishing wise he is poor, so don't expect him to be going in the box and nudging it round the goalie. His shooting limitations are all around the edge of the box with his decent long shot and shot power. He isn't going to be able to get in there and do some nice finesse finishes. And so, as you can see, he did score some decent goals for us. And he does have pretty well-rounded stats as well. So he does make a great all-round midfielder. I especially recommend him as a centre mid or a CDM for Inform Gago. You could try him at Cam, but for me, really excels with his more defensive and passing game. Creatively, around the middle, back half of the pitch is where you want him. Now he does only have two star skills, but you're not going to be making too many uh, skill dribbles with him from Gago. So he's just not that type of player, so two star skills is fine. Does have a four star weak foot as well, which is a good advantage. So let's have a look at him from Gago's performance stats. So in six games, he did manage three goals and got four assists. All of his stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map shows you where uh, goals were scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're giving Inform Gallo a really solid 8 out of 10. Solid midfielder with decent all-round stats, to be honest. Does make a great defensive midfielder, as we were using him in. And he has got a great passing game, so great as a creator. And he did grab some decent goals, as you seen for us, from midfield as well. So is a bargain as well. Discard Inform. Discard price is worth picking one up. If you don't get on, you're not going to be losing out on many coins. So finally, we're just going to leave you with these positives and negatives just to have a look at. So for me, he is worth a try and I actually do highly recommend him, especially for his discard price as well. Always worth picking a discard in form up to give him a go. Great for an Argentinian team as a centre mid or CDM, as we said. So hopefully you did enjoy the review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. And please subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Check out all the other reviews on the channel. We tried to make the most in-depth reviews as we can. Loads more to come as well, so stay tuned for them. Cheers, lads. Thanks a lot for watching and peace.